Welcome back to Jam Baseball for a family food video brought to you by Cushy Dreams. Shout out to Zoe. He's given me the day off. I'm going to throw it over to him because he's hosting today's video. Bye. Welcome back to Baseball Feud. Today, Jack and Jake will once again be facing off to see who is better at knowing these questions. Seven questions. The number one answer is worth five points. The number five answer is worth one point. They get free total strikes per round. Let's see who wins. And if you want to check out my baseball podcast called Swamp Talkie Radio, it'll be linked down below. All right, we are back. First question. Oh, my goodness. If you were starting a new MLB team and had to pick one player, who would it be? And over 1,700 people answered this question. You go first. Okay. So, franchise player. I'm wearing his shirt right now. I'm going to go Bobby Witt. You were going Bobby Witt with your first guess of the video. Yeah. That is our number four answer, Jack. On the board with two points. I think he gets on there for, like, sexiness. And he's good. And he's great. I, is Shohei eligible in this? Shohei, every player is eligible. I, that could be a good guess. I thought he was going to be the first guess. Right, that is probably a really good I'll make him the second guess. I'm not wearing his shirt, though. You're going with Otani? Yes. Otani is our number one answer by, like, the most ever. Mm-hmm. Which makes I'll sense. I'll say the most ever. Yes. I mean, he had the most votes, and it wasn't even He might have had, like, 1,500. Yeah, I think it was. It was crazy. Yeah. It was, like, Otani and then just different spellings of Otani, who people who typed it in <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Ronald Acuna. Good start to the video. He's our number three answer. Oh. Wow, okay. He had a lot of votes. Young. He's good. Yeah. Just won MVP. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, young, good. Yeah. Just had one of the best seasons. Like, like we're ever. wanting five tool players here. Tony's a five tool player. Not in the normal sense. He's like nine tool. Yeah, that's true. What's Pitch your favorite tool? tool? No, what mine is the uh, when you're taking off uh, car tires. It's that wrench that like automatically resets. Ratchet. Oh, I was talking baseball. Tools. <laughs> Mookie Betts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's ratchet. He's our number five answer. Okay, good guess. Hey, you guys are four for four in your first video back in a minute. So good job. I'm gonna go with Fernando Tatis. He did get votes, but he is not in our okay. top five. <laughs> First exit He's the not video. two. He wouldn't be two. This isn't right, but it could be. What about Adley Rushman? He was just shy of Mookie wow. Betts okay. on the board. He did get a good amount of I votes, like but he Surprising. did not make the top five. Him and Gunnar Henderson were close sixes. Oh, I just gave one away. Uh, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think who would be under Otani. That's kind of the game. Are you sweating or am I sweating? I'm sweating. Okay. I'm in a constant state of sweating. I'll go judge. I was thinking that. Not on our board. <laughs> Oh, what about his teammate Juan Soto? Juan Soto uh, is the number two answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake comes out with a big round, taking a God. ten to five lead, oh, getting the one and two answer. If you didn't guess Judge, I was guessing Judge. Right. Judge led you to Soto. Yeah. We cleared the board. Hey, we cleared the, we board. Cleared the board. Nice. Moving on to our next question. Or, 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 or. What is the best rivalry in baseball? And I believe Jake, you have the first guess this time. So do I need two teams? Yes. Major League Baseball. Yes. I mean, I would go Red Sox, Yankees. Having a number one answer here was big because that is clearly the number one answer by a lot. I mean, with three Red Sox, Yankees fans, there's also a hint of bias in that. There's a couple others, but I'm not going to say them yet just in case. I'm going to go Dodgers, Padres. Dodgers, Padres is on our board, but it's at the number five answer. I'm getting a lot of low points here. Dodgers, Padres, huh? Because I was thinking Dodgers, but Dodgers, Giants is like a big thing. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Dodgers, Giants is our number three answer. Okay. It beat Dodgers, Padres out, which I which I was a shock at first, but then I really wasn't. It's older. It's an older. It's yeah. an older. Yeah. I feel like Dodgers, Padres the last few years has kind of yeah. become a thing. I don't know how recent it's going to be. Right, because there's recent options. There's older options. I feel like people go historical with these. He's like, Dodgers Giants at three. Right. That's just two big teams. That hasn't been a beef. No. To me, it's like Yankees, Red Sox, and then I go to like Celtics, Lakers. <laughs> I mean, that's a big rivalry. Not. Astros, Yankees. I like the guess. Not on our board. Mm, I don't like the guess. It's not really a rivalry. It's just like a good matchup. Yeah. What about, I'm going to lean into the city a little bit. I'll go Mets, Braves. Mets, Braves is not on our board. Mm. I think we've had our first stumper of the video. Just rooting for yourself over there? A little bit. Phillies Braves? Is our number two answer, the Phillies and the Braves. Nice, Jack. You kind of needed that. I did need that. I think we're so AL people. Because, like, in my head, that's I don't even know about that rivalry. (laughs) Does teams even know each other? The fourth best rivalry in baseball. (laughs) 
Well, that's the question people come to this what channel for. What subscribe. I, what I always <laughs> say, subscribe. Sub exclusive. <laughs> I'm going to go off the board a little bit. I'm going to go Cardinals Cubs. Great guess. That's yeah. our number that's four really answer. Wow. Okay. Well Very impressed with that hey, one. Great job. Two words cleared. Like, hey, good clutch guess there. Hey, that also gives you a 10-point lead, Jake. Okay. You're up 20 to 10 Clutching. on Jack. Okay. Quick interruption on today's Family Feud video to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Cushy Dreams. If you want to be cool and relaxed and chilling while you're watching your favorite jam baseball series like Family Feud, you're going to want to get some Cushy Dreams in your life. There's no football to watch. There's only baseball to watch. And why not unwind in the best way possible with the finest in legal cannabis? They have products like Smokable Delta 8, CBD Flower, Pre-Rolls. It's all on their website right now at CushyDreams.com. Com. And if you use promo code JOMBOY when you go there to check out their selection, you can get 25% off your next order. It's a hell of a deal. And they have a wide, wonderful selection. So shout out to them for sponsoring today's Family Feud video. Thank you to Cushy Dreams. And now let's see what Jake and Jack have in store for us. Who is the first player you think mm. of when you hear playoff hero? 2010. Okay. I cut it off because I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I will say, mm. if this is of any help. There was one guy, our number one answer, who took it by a landslide. Okay. Because there's a couple names that instantly pop in my head, but it feel like it's, as you said, very subjective. It's very subjective. I'll go David Ortiz. He's our number six answer. Mm. Just missed Brutal. the board. Too old, I guess. A little too old. This guy's either first or not on the list. I'm going to go Howie Kendrick. Not on the list. Okay. Mm. This guy's either first or not on the list. Adelise Garcia. Not on the list. Mm. Okay. That was brick Reset. for brick. I am a playoff hero. I can be a hero, baby. After your guess, I'll give a little hint. I have a name. Let's go with, this is so dumb, David Freeze. <laughs> That's not dumb. That is our landslide number really? one answer. David Freeze took the category by a mile. By so one year? Talking about D, right? <laughs> I don't think I'm on the right track of thinking, but I need number two bad. You've both had two guesses. I'll give a hint. I think David Freeze is the outlier on this list in terms of being like, whoa, that's on the list. This is 1,700 ball knowers. Talking right. baseball listeners. Right. You think if I just fully replaced Ploof on Talking Baseball for like a week, anyone would notice? No. I'm going to go with Steven Strasburg. Not on our list. I was gonna, but that's really? a that's a good guy. He got votes. Let's just not talk I thought that it. was for sure because that's like the last thing he did. I just threw up a donut and you got the number one answer. I think you still have. You've only guessed one right wrong, now. right? Yes. So you got, one X. You got some room to work with. But make it two when I guess Madison Bumgarner. Is our number two answer. Wow. Mad Bum. And I think of Mad Bum as a playoff yeah, that's hero. A good one. That's, that's who I thought that would be the number one answer. Good. I'm trying to think if the Cubs have someone who is a hero. Red Sox were so, oh, how good was that team in 2018? They were good. They didn't need a hero. Uh, Jose Altuve is on our list at the number four answer. Very. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, I've got a guy that was a playoff hero, and I'm hoping the people cooked. Randy Rosarena. It's not on our okay. list. All of you listeners are assholes. Uh, final strike, Derek Cheater. Incorrect. Our number five answer, I was a little shocked to see him over his former teammate, Bryce Harper, the number five answer. I think that's a little bit of recency bias. I thought Strasburg probably deserved that spot a little bit more. It's tough when you've also never won. Oof. Um, our number three answer is recent World Series champion, Corey Seager. Okay. I was between him and Adelise and that. Once you went out, at least you were scared off from the Rangers. Yeah. You weren't, you weren't dipping your toe back in there. Jake, with a commanding 31 to 10. Oh, shark. It's good to be back. Yeah. It's good to be back. Damn Jake it. hasn't missed a beat. You, you've been studying. Moving on to our next one. I answer these polls 1,500 times. What are the five best Ooh. World Series mm. since 2000? Now, I will either accept the matchup or the year, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Don't even know the teams throughout years. Uh, I will... Let my bias fly for my two favorite teams, and I'll say 2001, Arizona made, and the Yankees. That made our board at the number five answer. Now, I was a little... Is the door ajar? I was a mere lad, or a mere baby at this point, so I don't really remember that one. I feel like these could either all really be old. This is... Now, since 2000, that's 24 that's, years. Yeah. That's a lot of years. Nice. Um, I'll go 2019. Is our number two answer. That was okay. a, that's a big get for you, Jack. That's asterisk. I am going to continue with my bias 
And I will say 2,000 on the nose if that's eligible. That is eligible but wrong. Fine. And that leaves the door ajar here. <laughs> so just tossed his laptop. Full laptop just full of fell Elbow off the table. Elbow toss. <laughs> You're getting too comfortable over there. <laughs> Actually, pretty graceful fall. It was. I Could have went so much worse. Yeah. Would have been a devastating loss. Now, Jack, you kind of need to hit this number one answer one. here yeah. because I feel like Jake is just peeking yeah. through the door. 2020? No. Not my answer. So flinched. I almost threw something at you. Yeah, no, no. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah, I really I don't know the number one. I feel like I'm aiming it at a number three. I'll go 2016. Is our number one answer. Reverse psychology. And I think wow. that is the correct that answer. That is a good World yeah. Series. That one is... Heralded. Cubs win. Cubs. Rajai Davis. Yeah, that will that one was that one was special. I will continue my bias because America loves the New York Yankees and say 2009. That's incorrect. Fine. You've had a theme this round, and I respect I that you've stuck to it. It's tough because none of the Red Sox ones were good. Oh, uh, playoff hero, 2011. Is our number free answer, 2011. Oh, good callback to our previous round. And I came into this thinking it was a Jake round. It could have. I think luckily the answers are more modern. That's helped me. My only problem is I've gotten them all wrong. <laughs> well, you forget that I'm a think and learned man, which means I will be going with my favorite World Series, 2004. Incorrect. Mm. Now, Jack. Oh, maybe a broken curse. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw out um, 2015. Incorrect. Mm. Royals. How about 2002? Incorrect. Mm. Yes. Do you even know Marlin? Right. No, oh, that was 03. Shit, that meant 03. What was 2002? 2002 was Angels, I think. Interesting. I don't think they even played another team. <laughs> that became Inter Squad. Yeah. I'm thinking about giving you my thoughts, just because I think at this point you're such in the blender yeah. that I don't think they'd help. Okay. Way in. The Braves beating Houston was like a powerful thing. Big talking baseball moment, too. I'll go Oh wait. Incorrect. You guys mm. spat in the face of this World Series, and it has one of my favorite baseball games of all time. The 2017 Astros-Dodgers oh, World true. Series had some all-timers yeah. yeah. I guess before in that World Series. you talk about asterisks, Once you... it is a crazy set. Some of those games, if you go on YouTube and rewatch, were yeah, that's uh, true. the cheating stuff, obviously, but that, those games were... They had that, like, it was the... Like, High scoring. It was like 15th to 14th game. It, some of the okay, best ones. Yeah. Before that damn gym boy ruined it. <laughs> Still, Jack, great round for you. Okay. You closed the gap. Now it's Jake 32, Jack 22. 10-point game, anyone's game. Now this one is a uh, special one for is me. Is this a Zoe round? I, I don't didn't answer these. I asked the people. Okay, these are the people. Which MLB player would you like most like to share an ale with? Share an ale with. <laughs> <laughs> or a beer, as some people would call it. Basically, another way of me saying, Hello, Bryce Harper. Would you like to grab an ale with me? The Renaissance Fair. <laughs> <laughs> the Phillies' whole team takes on the Renaissance Fair. Can I pick the video. Phillies team? That would be a great video. There are literally infinite options. Aaron Judge. Incorrect. He'd out drink you. He would out drink you. It's like Aaron. No way. <laughs> I also think he would make me feel small. I'm going to go Zach Granke. He is on our board. He is our number four answer. That might be the only one we get. Listen to me. Zach Grinke would hate having an ale with you. Yeah. I think infamously doesn't want to have an ale with you. I will go with Mookie Betts. Is our number one wow. answer. That's Jack, Jake, that was, you pulled up from half court at the Mookie buzzer. Mookie Betts. Hartenstein. I'll go Bryce Harper. Is our number five answer. Bryce made the list. I didn't think we would get a single one. So these are like well-liked guys. Bryce Harper looks like an ale. A little bit. Shohei? Not on our list. The remaining two guys are both first basemen. Okay. And one of them, I think he's still in the league. I think that was a big hand. Yeah. It was meant to be. I'll go Freddie Freeman. Is our number free answer? Freddie is on our board. I think I know number two, but I think... The only one left. So's hint was revealing. Joey Votto. Is our number yeah, two yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. Joey Votto got a ton of votes. I am willing to reveal my bonus question now. Okay. How many votes did Trevor Plouffe get oh. on this poll? I'll guess one. He played? Whoever's closest gets the answer. Jack? He's still playing. Whoever's closest? Yes. Okay, interesting. Well, it's a <laughs> number. you just won. <laughs> I 
I, I, I feel like I should play this. You either need to go two oh, or wow. zero. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of, it was a late reveal. Yeah. I'm sticking with it. My bad. I'll, I'll be fair. I'll guess 36. Jake gets the point. Shit. He got nine votes on how many people wanted to have an ale with him. <laughs> nine out of 1,700. Moving on. Jake with a 14-point lead. God. What is the best flavor of sunflower seed? I will go ranch. It's our number three answer. Ah. Not a big ranch audience. I'm going to play my game here. Like original or unflavored. That's your guess? That's my guess. Is our number one answer. I feel like your last two number one answers, you've been you've locked in for them. Original is number one. I'll go barbecue. Is our number four answer. I love barbecue. We'll clear the board. I love barbecue. That was going to be my guess, and I may be out of flavors uh, that I... Is is there like a, a pickle? Is <laughs> our number two answer really dill good. pickle? I dill pickle is a good That's one. That's really good. It's amazing. Spicy dill pickle also. And then pickle was eluding me. I'll go crack pepper. Incorrect. Mm. Deep cut maybe. Uh, I'm trying to think of flavors of things. Hot dog. What is is there like a honey mustard? There is a honey mustard. Isn't there? No. No. Oh, I thought there was. I don't take back my guess. Incorrect. Sweet and spicy. Is our number five answer. That's that's my favorite. By far the best sunflower seed flavor, if you're asking me. Hey, you guys cleared the board. Nice work. I always, uh, I eat sunflower seed. Moving on to our last one. Jake has a 51 to 34 point lead. Last question. Who Hmm. is the first umpire you think of? Now having the number one answer goes to Jake. A really good question. I will go with Joe West. Is our number two answer? Okay. That's what I. Okay. I will go Angel Hernandez. Is our number one answer? It's not a big issue though, Jake, because you still have a pretty good lead. Now it gets tricky. It does get tricky. This is where I think the fun part of this question begins. I'll be wrong with this fella all day. Give me Dale Scott. Is not on mm. our board. Losers. Mm. Came to the warehouse. Called the game. Yeah. He was so nice. I'll go Laz Diaz. Is our number four answer. Wow. Good poll on the last. Wow. This is on the board. Forgot his first name. Last name Wolf. Incorrect. Mm. I'll go Pat Hoberg. Is our number three answer. Pat. Wow. On here for good reasons. Uh, that's the only umps I know. Well, <laughs> there is many more umps in the world. Is it Ted? Ted Barrett? He is an umpire, but that's incorrect. Okay. Really? I got three guesses. I don't know if I know three I else. think this fifth one is the hardest answer of any yeah. answer we've had today. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're at home Tim. right now, comment who you think this umpire is, because I don't think you're going to get it either. Like, if I had watched a game last night and just saw when they said it, it was like my only chance. Yeah, probably. And I didn't do that. Does number five go by their initials? I don't believe so. Okay. J.P. Morgan. As C.B. Buckner is the only other ump I could really oh, that's a, like. Oh, that's a good one. He's a great ump. Intense. That's not on there? Well. Is that a guess? Oh, just C.B. Buckner. Incorrect. That's a that's one people would know of. Is this now just me trying to think of ump names and you guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has become a team. Uh, Johnny Curtis. Curtis O'Connor. Incorrect. That is a YouTuber. No. Oh, sorry, Curtis Connor. Yeah. Oh, uh, for the Chris, win, Chris Kringle. <laughs> Incorrect. Our number five answer was notorious umpire Jim Joyce. Okay. Okay. I don't think anyone was kind of that. have heard of him. Jake, Jake, congratulations on your win of baseball feud. Thank you so much for voting. Comment below if you want to see another one. Subscribe. Subscribe.